So on the Today Show, there was a group of people that revealed what they feel Nefertiti looked like. Now, they looked at the mummy of Nefertiti. They created an image that they feel that she looked like exactly what they're going to present to you on the Today Show. And I want you to see who she looked like. What was the inspiration for doing this? You know, Nefertiti is, I think, sadly remembered as the most beautiful woman of the ancient world. But in mm -hmm. fact, she was a really substantial leader. This is a woman who was a pharaoh. And I think that it's time to identify her to figure out who she really was. We know her from this famous bust in Berlin that everyone yeah. sort of remembers her from. But that's a kind of idealized image. And so we wanted to look at this mummy in the Egyptian museum and say, could this be the real Nefertiti? All right, All right. so we're going to reveal it. But this is 3D imaging. You think this is spot on? This is spot on. This was a, a 3D image of the mummy's um, head was done. Uh -huh. It was then given to a forensics team and an incredible world-class reconstruction artist, so this is very accurate. All right, here it comes. We're going to do the ready? big reveal. I'm ready. Here we we're go. One, two, over. three. Okay. <gasps> wow. And there she is. Wow. Wow, that's intense. Wow. Isn't she amazing? Yes. She really is. So how, did, how do you reconstruct? How did, and how accurate do you think this is? I think it's extremely accurate to the mummy. The, the forensics artists are able to do an extremely good job at looking at the tissue, depth, determining muscle, and all of that. And so what we're looking at here for sure is King Tut's mother. We right. know genetically that this mummy is King Tut's mother. We so all the Nefertiti That's right. We know, that, we, we know that Tut's father was Akhenaten, who was married to Nefertiti. So it's a good bet. Um, and the really encouraging thing for me is that when you look at the known ancient images of Nefertiti that yeah. we have, like the Berlin bust, there are amazing similarities here. I was going to say, it look, a lot of people get those necklaces with that side view. Right. They sell them everywhere in Cairo, and it looks spot on. But yeah. what's amazing really is that the, the Berlin bust is this kind of idealized yeah. image. Yeah. It's the sort of ancient Photoshop. Right. Yeah. <laughs> this is a real woman. And, wow. when, and when we look at this reconstructed bust, what we see here is someone who is substantial, and someone whose mummy was really cast off, and now we can really see her restored, have her dignity restored in wow. a way. That was cool. Incredible Josh, thank you. artistry, and it, it, obviously an archaeological feat as well, but it's really cool, Josh. Thank you. Of We're going to find more about That image was very, very comical to me. It was funny. I'm not going to lie. I laughed at that. Because when I looked at that image, this is what I thought. The African heat. How did this version of Nefertiti survive in the African heat? How? Did she keep uh, the palace that she was in like a cave? Did she keep it dark? She couldn't stand out in the sun very long. I mean, what, what, what happened to this version of Nefertiti? She has the, all the features of a white woman. And you see even people like Richard Spencer, when he went on Roland Martin, he was claiming they were the Egyptians. It must suck to not have something to be proud of. It, to me, it must, it must be because they have to admit and they know the truth. They know the truth more than anybody else. And they keep putting out the truth as in the past few days. They come from the Caucasus Mountains. That's where they come from. They're not proud of that, obviously, but they want to latch on to African culture and latch on to African history and say they are the Egyptians or they did this or they did that. Dr. John Henry Clark stating his eloquent speech, we have no friends, that when they colonized there, and they also colonized history. When they colonized the history, they wanted to wipe out the black man and black woman out of history to act like we did not exist. And the only thing that he wanted to write down about you is that you were nothing but a slave or you were beneath him. But he knew when he walked into the African kingdoms that it was beautiful. We didn't have no mass incarceration. We didn't have no drugs all over the place. We didn't have no murders all over the place. We sure didn't have the slavery that the Caucasian man created because his version of slavery was the most brutal and horrible version of slavery the world has ever seen. So he wants you to not think well of yourself. And he did this for a long time. He worked very hard for you to think, that you're nothing but a two-bit lowly slave or an ex-slave. But we're living in a time where the truth has came out. Just today, they put up scientific evidence that proves the first Britons were dark-skinned people like me with blue eyes. 
They talked about these same dark skinned people that came out of Africa, settled in Spain, that area. They also settled in Luxembourg. They also settled in Hungary. Let me tell you something. We are the original people. We populated the whole earth, of course, but they will not talk to you and tell you that because they have to have you thinking that you are nothing but a slave or an ex-slave. They know about your history way more than you do. And the only reason that white supremacy will keep you broken down is in the mind. Once this mind is free and the mind is broken of white supremacy and you embrace who you are as a African man and an African woman, once you embrace that, once you realize that their opinions don't matter anymore, their feelings, their thoughts don't matter anymore, then you are truly liberated. And at that point, nobody have to tell you nothing because you're going to automatically have higher self-esteem. You're going to automatically look at black people worldwide as a people of value, because as long as you have white supremacy controlling your mind, you're going to look at black people in the way that they have said you are. That's why I can tell if you have a mind that's full of white supremacy or a liberated mind, just how you view black people as a whole. And yes, black people do some wrong. Yes, they do. They got a lot of things they do wrong, but those people went through a lot of traumatic experiences. And also you would understand that and have patience and try to work through some things with us. Now look at this picture. I want you to compare that, that they said this Nefertiti to Iman's version of Nefertiti. Now Iman looked like Nefertiti. That particular woman could stand the Egyptian heat in the African continent. The other woman couldn't stand it not even two minutes. If you look at the colors that's on Iman versus this thing that they created, because it's not a human being they created, obviously that's some sort of fake thing. The colors don't even look right on it. When you have that dark skin, that, that chocolate skin the colors look great on you. And this is the thing about Egypt or even black people in general. If you look at the beauty of that, you know how black folks are black folks going to show out black people is going to wear the best drive the best. That's just who we are. It's been like that for centuries. No one can outshine us for the most part when it comes to styling and profiling. Usually they can't. So why are they always trying to attest everything to them when that's not even their style on a good day, but don't get upset. Don't tear your clothes. Don't do any of that. This is our identity crisis that they have within themselves. They're not really happy of the identity really they created. Do you really think in the, the deepest of hearts, the only thing that they can look back and say we created was white supremacy and racism. That's not nothing to look back and be proud of when you tell the truth and they say we built America and then you say, okay, did you build Washington DC? Just curious about that. The last time I checked a black man named Benjamin Banneker designed the whole thing. Last time I checked black people built the whole thing. So you didn't even build Washington DC. You didn't build a whole lot of things in this country. What are you talking about? You don't know a day of working in the fields in this country. Just saying, and, and, and the truth is constantly coming out. And when this truth comes out, accept that truth for what it is, embrace the truth and understand you've been lied to all your life. You have been indoctrinated in school. Public school is not education. It's indoctrination. And you come out of there not knowing nothing because they don't want you to know nothing other than a white supremacist mindset that they're trying to put into not only you, but they try, they putting it also in their own people. They lie to their own people every day. So it's not just you, it's everyone. You have to understand something. We have made a statement many times that everybody want to be us, but don't want to be us. And you know, I'm cleaning it up, but you got to want to be you more than anybody else. We have to be proud of who we are. We'd have to attach ourselves to our history. We have to look at even the continent of Africa and realize they see something great in Africa. Why are you disconnected from it? The Chinese are trying to flood in there. Of course, the white man been in there for ages. The Russians going in there, everybody going in there, except you. That is 
an area where it's going to be on top, even higher than America. It's coming. They don't believe what I'm saying, but it's coming. And you have to make an establishment there also in an African nation. This is why I'm promoting to all of you, get your passport. It's not that expensive. Go up there to the post office, get the application. If you just want the book as $110, take your photos by what, 15 to $20 or so. Turn in your birth certificate, wait four to six weeks. If you want it in two or three, they'll send you your passport. Then you can make your first trip to Africa if you want. Go on secretflying.com, look for a, a reduced rate on a flight and do that. They're trying to keep you from Africa. They want to keep you from your history. Can't we see this? But be of good cheer, brothers and sisters, because a new day is coming. The truth is coming out. And long as the truth is coming out, the lies that they told you for centuries is falling like this. So don't get mad. Just embrace your culture, embrace who you are, embrace everything that has something to do with us and just let's liberate ourselves. So that's the key. Liberation of our minds is the key to everything. So leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this particular story, because as I stated before, it's comical, but the truth is already out.